What's up guys? Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Today we're going to continue on and try and complete the hunting literacy mission. We have to harvest two female wolves in the Regina Mountain area. And I think that's kind of just anywhere in the mountain area, kind of in the northern section of the map. That's what I'm hoping anyways. So we're just going to try and track down some female wolves and get it done. Maybe we'll see some more stuff along the way. Have to take a look and see. Let's see, what time is it right now? So it's already 6.45, so I'm going to rest here at this campsite until in the morning and see if we can uh, get our hunt on. All right. We got a good night's sleep. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and now we can get started with our day. Hopefully we can get on them pretty quick. We'll see how it goes. Really good view here, too, but they're always nice. So I found our first distraction. There's a mouflon right down this hill in front of me, like 80 yards away or something like that. And I'm just curious to see if there's anything, you know, really big in that group. I'm gonna try and sneak up on them, but you know how that goes. Okay, here we are. What do we have? He's a one. Adult female. He's a one. I wonder if I can stand up without scaring him give it a shot there we go what we got it's just a couple ones don't see any other ones that's okay look again so there's three here there's one another one another one so it's adult male that's a young male that's a young male let's take this adult male he's a one star and get him out of this herd. Huh, we're still set at 500 something yards. Okay, that should do. That should have been a decent shot. Hoping he doesn't go very far. Yeah, he's done. There we go. Still need to go check that out. Well, I didn't mark him. Oh, he's right there. Okay. View's amazing. Where'd you go, guy? Wait, didn't I just see him? Or Okay, yeah, there he is. They're really pretty, though. Their colors and stuff. Yeah, we got a good shot in on him. All right. I'm going to sell this guy. Well, let's look at him. Yeah, he was at 50% fitness rating. So it was good that we got him out of that group. That was a pleasant little distraction. Now I'll get back to trying to hunt down where the wolves are. Right now I'm just trying to figure out where they are at all. I'm trying to find some prints, where they're eating, sleeping, anything like that. I haven't found anything yet. But when I do, I'll let y'all know. So I came along and found this pond here, and this is where I'm at. It's kind of the northwest section of the map. And I found a spot where they were drinking. So that's perfect. So now I'm gonna head kind of in this direction and see if we can hopefully find where they're eating and where they're resting. Because if we can narrow that down, we've got them. And this, this, uh, this location, they've been drinking often also, so we know that they're going to come in there. Also, I'm hoping that if I can get close enough to them, I can get both of the females in the same sitting. We'll have to take our time and get close enough, look at them, figure out which ones we're going to shoot, and do it, like, really, really fast. We'll have to find out, though. All right. So I'm going to head off in this direction and hopefully we can run into something. Since I was looking around up here on top of these mountains for signs of wolves, I figured I'd come by and check these little, I guess, uh, points of interest out. Cross for travelers. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. They just have it right along the walking trail. 
up here on the top of this mountain. I saw another little point of interest on the map. I'll probably head that way. It doesn't hurt because it's all kind of two birds, one stone, basically. Oh, yeah. This is that rock formation that we saw the other day, too. Okay. So now I know exactly where we, where we are. I guess that mountain over there is where we were when we took that 600-yard shot. Cool. So we checked the rock out, or the cross out. Now we check out these rock formations. I said I absolutely love this kind of stuff. I wonder how these were formed. What is this called? Stone Umbrella. Yeah, I guess it kind of looks like that, huh? Or like a, a, a mushroom or something like that. There's a place in New Mexico, and I think it's Baywood, New Mexico, I believe is what it is. And it's called the City of Rocks. It's a state park there, and you can go camping. It's, it's really interesting because you've got desert for, I don't know, it seems like hundreds of miles. And that's, that's all there is, is just desert. And kind of out in the middle of nowhere, there's this literal city of rocks. It's just a bunch of rock formations that were created during, um, uh, I don't remember what time period it was created. But anyway, supposedly it was created from volcanic activity in that area. And it looks really, really cool. What is that? Oh, that's the chamois. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Um, if anybody lives in that area or if you're ever going through that area, it is definitely worth checking out. Okay, so I was driving around and there was a ton of craziness going on. And check this out. Look at these gray wolves coming through. Now, I don't know if that is in this permission to hunt required territory or if it's over the line. I'm not real sure. I have to put a marker and see if it is or not. Yeah, so after looking at it, it looks like they are I won't be I won't be able to shoot those, which really sucks. That's the first ones I've actually seen. I'm wondering if this is the same group that goes over to the other area and drinks. I also wonder if I can push them that way. I might go over there and scare them and just see which direction that they run. Okay, so I can see where they're running off to. They're running off up here. I want to put another marker real quick and look at our map. Okay, so that location is definitely a safe zone. If I'm good enough, I could pull my gun out and take that long range shot. But I need them to stop. Okay, it looks like they've stopped. Maybe. That is 438 yards. 437. Crap, now I need to know which one's a female, right? Oh, they're still running. Um, this is not going to work. I wish it would. I can't tell which one's female, which one's male. I wonder if they look different. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm just going to ease that direction. And hopefully I can get close enough without scaring them and be able to keep an eye on them and be able to tell which one's male and which ones are female. Okay, I should be just about close enough now that I can tell what they are. Yes. Okay, so there's a female there. Let's crouch down. Go ahead and pick her out. Young female. She's calm. That's 285 yards. They're staying right there in that brush. I need them to come out a little bit so I can get a better view. I definitely don't want to miss and I don't want the brush to mess up my shot. I'm fixing to try and take this one right here, 256 yards. And then when they start running, I'm going to try and get another one. Okay, well, let's just give this a shot and see what happens, yeah? There's one. Oh, 
I uh, shot over the top. And I missed completely. Man. Okay, so I hit another one. I don't understand why that thing hasn't gone down yet. I think that's two pretty solid shots on it. I don't know if it laid down or if it died. Alright, we'll run over there and see if we can find them. That was absolute madness. And a lot of bad shooting. It was neat to see that we were kind of able to wrangle them in a certain direction. I don't know if that was just where they were going to go by default or if... If they'll run directly away from you. But it's hard to tell sometimes because sometimes they run straight at you. Or right by you or whatever. Okay, our wolf should be close by. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Where's our marker? Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, what did we get on this one? So that was two shots. And this one is a female. So let's sell it. And see what happens. It counted. Perfect. Okay, so now I have to find the location where I shot the other ones at so I can get onto a blood trail. Okay, so I finally hunted down where I would shot the first one. And apparently it wasn't a very good shot because it's only a small amount of blood and there's no impurities. That's very unfortunate. I thought that I made a decent shot on it, especially with this gun. I would have figured that... It would have been, you know, it would have been all right. But it is what it is. I'll start tracking this blood trail and see if I can run into them again. It's been 15 minutes, so they've made it a good ways away from me. But that's all right. I'll get to tracking it, and we'll hunt another group down or that same group down. I followed the trail around in circles and basically led to right where I figured that it stopped bleeding. And right here is where the trail ends. So they were headed in this general direction. There's no telling where they went from there. But the one that I shot has stopped bleeding, which is unfortunate. So I have to regroup and hunt them down again. Let's see what time it is now. Okay. So it's 2.15. Uh, yeah. I found another pack that we're drinking a little bit in this little spot of water, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah. They were drinking that little spot of water. So I guess what I'll do is I'm going to start backtracking and come across here and work my way back to this water. And I'm hoping by the time I about get there that they're going to be back there drinking. I've been walking around for a while and I wanted to check out another area, see if there was any sign of wolves, and I came across a feeding spot where they've been feeding often. Right here, I'll show you where it's at. Right here in this area is where I'm at. It's a separate pack, I believe. So I noticed this little spot of water up here at the very top of the map, and I think I'm going to head up that way and see if that might be where they're drinking often. Also, they're feeding at 3 o'clock and drinking at 7. So that's going to help us out a good bit. So we'll get back to it now. Okay, so here's the watering hole that I was looking at. And I was, I've was i been watching up on the ridges and everything. And uh, look what we have here. 400 yards away, basically. Oh, there's another one. And I think I need to get within, what, 250 yards, something like that, to be able to figure out what they are. Okay, here we go. I'm close enough now that I can see which one is what. I have to make sure this is right. I don't want to fight with this anymore. Very back, female. 
without a doubt. If I can get on her and just follow her. Oh, they're resting. Okay, in that case, that's female, 298 yards. If they go over the ridge, it's gonna be bad. That was a barely a hit. That was barely a hit. That was a horrible shot. Oh, she moved her head at the last second. I think I barely grazed her shoulder, honestly. That's what happens when I don't have any patience. So our blood was clear, so it was a bad shot. But supposedly, they're somewhere close. Okay, we found them again, 180 to 200 yards. This is gonna be tough. The wind is somewhat in our favor, but I really don't think I can get close enough to them without spooking them. I'm scared to death right now, y'all. <laughs> I don't even wanna to try to move forward. They've got to be here. I know they're here and I'm gonna scare them without a doubt. <gasps> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, male. Ooh, I think this is the female we shot. Look at the blood. Yeah, she's leaving blood. Okay. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Is this is her. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I can't see her. Okay, there she is. Is that her? Oh my gosh. This is horrible. Yes. They keep changing directions. Be still. Okay, got her. Woo wee. I just knew that I was going to scare them away. I think I was more scared than they were. Man, that was crazy. Look at this valley. I'd love to see this. Anyway. Whew. Let's go down here and look at her. All this trouble is my fault because I didn't have patience and I messed up that last shot. I'm just lucky that they didn't go that far and I was able to pick back up on them pretty quick. Ugh. I've made a few bad shots today. Alright. Let's get her. I believe this was her. It is a female. Well, this wasn't her because this one's only been shot once. So I didn't get the one that I shot earlier. I kind of feel bad about that. But... Anyway, all right, cool deal. That took care of that mission. It is almost, I guess it's almost dark. Yeah, it's getting close to dark. So I'm going to head back to that cabin and we'll go from there. Okay, we made it back to the cabin. Let's go inside and see what this person has to say. Some people admire superheroes who can fly and save people. But do you know who my true hero is? It's Aldo Leopold. He was an outdoorsman since his childhood and later studied at the Yale School of Forestry. Early in his life, he was assigned to kill bears, wolves, and mountain lions in New Mexico. Local ranchers couldn't stand those predators because of the livestock losses they incurred, but that's how Leopold came to respect the animals. One day he fatally shot a wolf and once he reached her, he was captivated by a fierce green fire dying in her eyes. This changed him forever. He changed the view of nature as a mere slave to humanity to it being in balance with humanity. He developed an ecological ethic that replaced the need for human dominance. He rethought the importance of predators and the balance of nature. By the 1930s, he became the nation's foremost expert on wildlife management. If I could travel in time, I would love to meet him. I also have a tattoo of him smoking a pipe on my forearm. Cooler than any superhero tattoo, anyway. But it's a little bit of a buzzkill when people ask me about him at parties. There is one old and already injured wolf in the mountains, missing one eye. I've been following him for a few years now and I've named him Aldo. I've grown too close to him and now I can't relieve him of his pain. Please help me. Stella. Well that's pretty cool. 
I wonder if um, the Aldo Leopold is that the same guy with the scopes? Like the Leopold scopes and stuff like that? I'm not sure. I think that Leopold is spelled differently. But anyway, we managed to get our two wolves today. And what else did we get? I've been playing so long I can't even remember. My brain's kind of fried at the moment. So I feel like we got a good bit done today. It took us all day to do it too. So we'll go in and we'll rest and we'll get up early in the morning. We'll go out and harvest Aldo. See, he's an old black wolf. All right. Well, that should be pretty fun. It'd be interesting to, to do that. I wonder, I remember someone saying in the comments that you can, I guess, you can mount the animals and still complete the missions. So I'm going to try that with this one because if it's a black wolf, I think that would be really cool to be able to mount. But anyway, I thank y'all for watching. I hope to see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a great day and goodbye.